back to show you all how easy it is to make delicious homemade chili sauce for your hot dogs. This recipe is absolutely amazing. Packed with flavor, so easy to make. If you make it Gina Young style, you're gonna love me for this recipe. Here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some hot dogs. You're gonna need some hot dogs. I have beautiful hot dogs. You will need about a pound of ground beef. This is just a 80-20 ground beef. You will need bell pepper and sweet onion. Okay, let's move the spices so you can see the onion and the bell pepper. And we have tomato sauce, your favorite tomato sauce. This is a name brand that makes this recipe taste absolutely amazing. You're gonna need a couple of spices to make it taste good. We have salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, and we have two chili seasoning packets, okay? You will need, of course, you're gonna need hot dog buns, and you can't have a good chili dog without cheese, onions, and potato chips. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let me show you how easy it is to make this delicious recipe. Who loves a good chili dog? A lot of people, when they make chili dogs, they just go out and purchase the pre-made chili sauce. That is delicious, but when you make it homemade, there's nothing like homemade. Homemade is best. I'm gonna show you this really quick, simple, delicious recipe for my chili sauce. My family goes nuts over it. Make sure to have a lot of hot dogs because they're gonna want a lot of these chili dog sandwiches today. So we have bell peppers. You're gonna need bell peppers. Any color will do. I just have one pound of ground beef. You can use a ground chicken or ground turkey if that's what you would like to use. I'm gonna chop up our bell peppers and onions. And the bell peppers and onions will go directly on top of the meat and cook along with our meat. You wanna make sure when cooking your meat that you drain it. Drain it free from the oil. You don't want to digest it. I hope y'all are having a great day today. Let me know in the comment section below, do you love a good chili dog? We love them here at the Young's house. So I always make sure I make at least two packs of hot dogs. You can also use like a smoked sausage if you wanted to and then throw this amazing chili sauce on top. Delicious. What we like to do is put the cheese on there, a thin, sharp, shredded cheddar, and then we'll put fresh onion on top. And sometimes my husband likes to put a little bit of mustard on his, and I've tried it that way, and it's absolutely amazing. Let me know how you like to top off your chili dog when you make yours homemade, or do you make it homemade? I'd love to know in the comment section. Let's get our hot dogs into the pan, and then I also wanna talk about how I like to cook hot dogs. It may be a little different than how you make them, but I can assure you one thing, it makes a hot dog, a boiled hot dog, taste absolutely amazing. I always put vinegar. This is apple cider vinegar. You can use any kind of vinegar, and I always put two capfuls. You can use white vinegar if you want. And does it make it taste like vinegar? No, it doesn't, and that's a promise. But it does make them taste absolutely amazing. I've never boiled a hot dog without using vinegar, and you should try it the next time you boil a hot dog. I'll be cooking the ground beef on a medium heat. Let's go ahead and put our bell peppers in, just like so. I hope y'all are having an amazing day today. And it's really up to you how much of the bell peppers and onions that you would like to put in. I like to put in a nice amount. For number one, it makes it look nice and beautiful to see the different colors going through your sauce. And also you'll get the nutrients from the vegetables and it makes it taste good. Okay, so we're gonna go in with a small onion and you don't have to overwhelm it with too much onion, but I do feel like you need it, you know, to give it some great flavor and a nice crunch. All right, so we're gonna get this cut down just like so. And then I wanna talk about your option, just in case you, you may be one of the people in the background that says, Gina, I don't wanna use a pre-made chili sauce, so what spices can I use to make um, a chili sauce? After I get done cutting this onion, I'll tell you what spices you need. It's only gonna be three spices and it makes it taste absolutely amazing. Let's get our onion nice and cut. Not too big of pieces. Not too fine. And, and really out of that small onion, I didn't use the whole onion. You don't need the whole onion. A half an onion gives me quite a bit. So let's get this into the pan. And we're gonna make sure that we break down that burger meat. 
I'm going to use this tool here. It's really going to break it down. If you don't have that, you can um, use the side of your spatula to kind of work that meat and break it down. You want small pieces. You don't want really big pieces if you are making a delicious chili sauce. Chop the meat down. Before we chop our meat out, uh, let's talk about the three spices that you would need just in case you didn't want to use one of these. I love it because they always taste good. They've never let me down. Great flavor in these packets. Now, for the person who doesn't want to use that packet, you will use paprika, you're going to use cumin, and chili powder. And basically, that's the mix. And as long as when you season up your, your meat, you use salt, pepper, and garlic powder, that's it. That's going to be your chili seasoning. And then you can continue with the recipes and everything else that we use. Right, so how simple, instead of using the packet, those are the spices that you can use. So now let's go in, come on in. Break that meat up like I told you all, just like so the onions are gonna get nice and sweet. The bell peppers are gonna begin to get nice, soft and supple. And once this gets nice, beautiful and golden brown, I, I'm gonna reiterate that again, we're going to drain all of the unwanted oil just like so. Let's go ahead and cut some extra onion so we can put extra fresh raw onion on top of our chili dogs. There's nothing like having fresh onion on the top of your chili dogs, but you must chop that onion down nice and fine. If there's anybody out there that worries about the onion being too strong, there's one trick that I like to tell everyone that you could do is you could take this beautiful onion, you could put it into an ice water bath. What is an ice water bath, Dina? Well, you, you would just be taking a bowl of ice cold water with ice in it. You'll put your fresh onion in there and it will take away some of that real strong pungent flavor from the onion and that, and that way you can enjoy the onion without not having to use it. It works. I've drained our meats and our vegetables. It smells so good in here. Our hot dogs are done, of course, and I've covered them up. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our tomato sauce in. And like I said, use your favorite tomato sauce. One thing I don't want you to do is make it too soupy. You don't want um, a chili sauce that goes on top of your hot dog to be real runny and soupy. That's why I choose um, this name brand. It's a nice thick tomato and it's not super runny. Okay, so now let's mix it in to the burger. You decide how much or how least of the tomato sauce that you'd like to put in. And this needs to simmer. Let it simmer, okay? When you let it simmer, all the flavors will marry together and it's just gonna be splendid and taste so delicious. And now that we have everything nice and mixed in, we're gonna turn this burner on to a low heat. In the meantime, I wanna put in a packet and a half of this chili seasoning. Now, uh, they'll normally tell you per pound. So since I have one pound of the ground meat, you only need one of these, but I want a little extra flavor, so I'm gonna use one and a half. And with the other packet, I'll just fold this down and put it into a Ziploc bag, use it for a later day. So let's get our seasoning in right now. If you wanna add a pinch or two of sugar in, you can. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. All depends on what it tastes like when I taste it, you know? And I will be tasting it after it gets nice and heated up just to see if I need that sugar. The sugar is to kind of cut the acid. At least that's what my dad would tell me when he was making anything that had a tomato sauce. You kind of, you know how the acid can get you right there, kind of be a little sour. You put that pinch of sugar in there, it fixes it. Come on in, let's mix everything in. And these spices will thicken up your sauce and make your sauce a little bit darker as well. Oh, it smells so good in here. You're invited. I let this sauce simmer for about a half an hour. Now's the perfect time. Let's go in and look how thick it is. That's what I want on my hot dog. Not anything that's gonna run off runny, okay? Perfect, perfect amount of tomato sauce we put in. Now I'm not looking to taste the meat. I'm just looking to literally taste the flavor of the sauce. So let's do that together. See how tasty it is. Let me see. Mmm, mm-hmm. It does need sugar. Let's put some in. Only a little bit. It's a bit sour. 
that little bit, that's it. Wham, bam, let's turn this off. Let's make our chili dogs Gina Young style. Oh, you're gonna love this recipe. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up to stay tuned because I want you to see how it's presented and I want you to get that first bite. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know. Tell the whole world what Gina Young is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Lord, I thank you for this meal today. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I feel like my sauce needs a little bit more seasoning. So let's put in some salt. A little bit. Black pepper. Onion and garlic powder. Don't be afraid to season. When you season, you give your food good flavor and it's going to taste good. There we go. And now, this is what I'm looking for. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Ooh, -wee, I can be more excited and I hope you're excited for this recipe. So now, let's go ahead. Let me grab a fork. We're going to make up some chili dogs. You're going to get that first bite. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Come on in. Don't get too nuts with your chili sauce. If there's one thing that I hate, is for somebody to dress my chili dog and they didn't put too much chili on there. When making a chili dog, you only need that little bit. You want to be able to taste the dog itself, right? You do, you don't wanna like make your bun soggy. I don't want soggy buns, and I don't think you do either. Putting too much chili sauce can ruin the bun, right? And you, you want to be able to taste the hot dog more than anything. Get your cheese on. Oh my goodness, Gina. I love a chili dog. I bet you do. You're really going to love it with Gina Young's chili sauce. Look at this. Oh my goodness. And my husband, he'll take a little bit of mustard on the side of that. Mm, mm, mm. Look it, took it. Easy recipe, any day of the week. Make it for the holiday, make it for the birthday, make it every day just because it's that simple and that delicious. Come on, take a look. Oh yeah, <laughs> and, and now we're gonna take a bite. There you go. God bless, thanks for watching. Look at him. Look, look at them. They, they know the video's over. They just can't contain themselves. What's going on there? <laughs>